man. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And I'm telling you here right now, bro, this might be the most important 2K23 video that you need to see before you pre order or buy this game. I'm telling you, bro, you all are going to want to watch this whole vid. I'm going over so many new things that just came out. It's very important. If you don't watch it, you're going to get scammed. And I hate niggas getting scammed, man. I, I love, I love. <laughs> I love my niggas, bro. I, I don't. I hate when niggas get scammed, especially by these bitch ass companies, nigga. But look, make sure y'all drop a like for me real quick before we get into it. But look, li listen to this. This is a Ronnie vid. This hoe just came out, bro. Some f random posted this. Look, this is Ronnie talking about 2K23, bro. What's your message for 2K viewers this year? Okay, 2K this is the best one, yeah. You don't put best Jordan one, yeah. on the cover unless it's the best one. You don't put Michael Jordan on the cover unless it's the best one. Does he look like a lion nigga to you? Hey man, that nigga got a toupee on. Why don't <laughs> that's funny, man? Roddy got a toupee on, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> hey man, yes, sir. you know it's it's gonna be a good one. And then uh, what? It better be a good one. Behind yeah, Devin Booker being on the cover. Um, so the way we pick our cover athlete is about the trajectory a lot of these guys are on. And Devin has such a great story, and he also won the ESPN Players Tournament. There were a lot of factors. I think something happened with some deal. That's why he got the cover. It really didn't make sense. I can understand, like, Courier. Maybe this was already planned, so that's why, like, they went with, with him. But, um... The only reason I say Curry is because, like, how he, like, won the championship and all that. But, you know, it should be straight MJ to me. Every cover. He's such a great guy. T truly uh, represents what our cover star should be. So, really excited to uh, work with Devin. Have worked with Devin. He's been very involved. He'll be here in a little bit, obviously. So, uh, yeah. It was Devin Booker's time. We going over gameplay and everything. We going over gameplay and everything. Shit, it got an event happened. If y'all don't know, an event happened. <laughs> an event happened. Okay, we finna see the first gameplay of like people playing the game in this hoe. Niggas is my team cards. They got a bunch of famous people out there. All types of shit. We got Little Dirt playing 2K23. This nigga might be in the game for some reason, or we might be able to use his face scan. I don't know, bro. I don't know why these niggas is out here. And you know, with the news being released i think people are going you know i think we're gonna have a good old community day because i seen baluba's like tweet i don't know if this is the community day it's like this uh, i don't even know why these niggas even came out here because they ain't even dropped no info yes, look at this a little dirt 2k23 my boy okay what is this shit someone gotta make this shit out this could be some exclusive shit you see, I can't, I, I, I can't make it out. We need a geek. Yeah, you know the, the, the textures is looking clean. Ain't nothing worse than old fries, man. Winning trophy earned. Okay, you get a trophy for winning. Um, you can't really see much. Nigga lost by two. First thing he doing is eating. Hold on, let me, let me. Let me get this. Okay. Hey man, that's your first 2K23 gameplay, man. How you feel about it? You finna buy this hoe? <laughs> Gideon. I guess he's flying to this shit. I don't know why y'all niggas find this nigga so funny. I, I've never watched a vid by him. Y'all let me know if I should. Um, look at all these damn... I don't know if this nigga just gonna have a logo or what, but... God damn, this is so many fucking cameras. Is this really necessary, bro? So he's getting scanned in this hole. And I don't know who the fuck this nigga is. Also, this nigga T Jazz, and it's looking like the professor is getting scanned in this hole too. For what reason? Maybe something to do with the quest and shit. I I don't know. He took a pick with dirt. I don't know why these niggas is there. They ain't post nothing about the game, so I don't know why this is happening. Don't worry, y'all. We finna get to the real important news soon. Okay, look, we got Mike Wayne. <laughs> Bro, I finna flame this nigga. We got Mike Wayne playing Devin Booker. Devin Booker looks puzzled, nigga, okay? 
He don't even got his fingers on the right shit. Mike Wang look lost, nigga. Look at his t-shirt. Dice. He gambles on everything he creates with this goddamn gameplay, man. He don't look like he know well, what the fuck going on either. It, it shows in the game, my boy. I don't know, this a red flag. And this is called like the 2K House of Greatness. I don't know what this means. So I seen my boy Dime Word tweet this, right? And I'm like, what the fuck is going on, okay? This is very important. Y'all need to share this to the world, okay? I can't tell if this is true or not because y'all know 2K always messes up with their wording or they do it on purpose to confuse you to where you just buy it anyways because you don't want to miss out bro they literally do that shit with so many things and half the time i think they don't even know their self it's terrible as a company it's shit bro but look this nigga tweets out that champion edition looking bogus as hell the fact that the league pass isn't for live games so they saying the nba league pass that is in the package for 150 it's not for live games you have to go back and see it or whatever else they offer. I'm going to show you the description soon. Hold on. It says about to cop that basic joint. You still got to buy another 50 of VC to max your player. Nah, these niggas been scamming too long for real. When will it end? Shout out to my nigga Dime Work for fucking not dick sucking a billion dollar company. Double twisting and double gawking a billion dollar company like these other creators and them niggas aren't even getting paid they just want to be in the next maker program and have a logo bro at least he called them niggas out bro like because this the, the shit is bad this community is bad bro them niggas be sucking billion dollar dick and them niggas don't even be getting paid from it what but yeah now on next gen bro that to up to max your player that shit 400k plus vc they still giving us 100k come on dog but look, I did some research and I seen that Double H said this, right? He tweeted this. I don't know where this is from. I don't know where this is from, but he replied to Nate XE, you know, saying this is a steal, good job. I also thought it was a good job too, right? Until this. This will give you a year long access to NBA streaming service. While this isn't live, nigga, that's the whole point of it to watch live games. You will be able to listen to radio broadcasts of matches as well as video of the matches themselves three hours after they have been played. Three hours. What? Radio. So wait, hold on, hold on. This isn't true, everybody. I just contacted the NBA League. Hold on, hold on, hold on. See, I y'all gotta help me in the comments, nigga. I don't know. Y'all need to hit these niggas up. So he responds saying, this isn't true, everybody. I just contacted NBA League Pass Support. Greetings. If a game is not locally or nationally blacked out, then you will be able to watch it live. Please let us know. This nigga says, bro, that means you can watch every game that is not on ESPN or TNT or NBA TV. Oh, so I, I guess... It, you can't even watch those on the league pass. Here go GV defending 2K again. I never knew, but I mean, this is a big deal. Niggas don't know this. Like, there's no fine print. So, I mean, make sure before y'all pre-order the game, man, you figure out what you're getting yourself into. I might just get the... Look, I'm going to show y'all why. I am still might just get the... I, I actually am, you know, I'm a YouTuber and stuff, but I don't suggest this for you niggas that are not making money from this home. Look at this shit, y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe and like the video, man. It helps the vid a lot. But look, look at this shit. So the championship edition, man. Look at this shit, bro. So this says, you know, the second to the bottom thing, 10% XP boost on season progression. And I think it's my team too. So now it's like pay to win, pay to rep up now. 10% boost, okay? I'm not a fan of this, bro. I am not a fan of this. People might accidentally buy another version that end up buying this version, like the real tryhards and shit. So y'all better be careful before you, you pre-order this shit. And I'm gonna show you that this hoe is actually true, bro. Hold on. 
a next maker nigga said this shit was true okay so look he quote tweeted this just got confirmation that the 10 percent xp boost is for the entire year of 2k23 if you get the championship edition 10 percent xp boost on my team and my career season progression that means park all that type of shit that's crazy y'all let me know if y'all think that's a w or l if this has convinced you to uh get the championship edition or not but this shit is crazy bro <laughs> bro like that shit is crazy now let me show y'all another thing up in the description of when you buy 2k23 man we got some new leaked news okay we got gm leaked for all y'all old head niggas i know y'all love that shit we got uh my nba leaked now listen to this man they promising some new news man the next evolution of ultra real gameplay has arrived in new gen with nba 2k23 new ways to attack off the dribble let's hope man we always have the same type of moves <laughs> maybe there's some type of new mechanics with uh dribbling and attacking with the dribble um y'all let me know some uh predictions you got but then they say and at the rim okay we might have some new features when we go to the rim man our match against an intuitive one-on-one -on -one positional shading system one-on-one -on -one positional shading system hold on is that for defense we got a shading system we're gonna be able to get bumpy okay well, maybe maybe i'm overthinking y'all know they always say the right shit to try to get you to you so don't be getting too hype my nigga <laughs> to unlock even more control on both ends of the floor in the most authentic basketball experience yet. Okay, we gonna see. So look, right in the middle of the city, little uh, segment says, choose your crew and take on the best of my players inside an all new city. So choose your crew. Maybe they renamed affiliations or they made crews they did a whole different revamp. Um, what do y'all think it's gonna be? Y'all think they're gonna uh, make affiliation now crews, or maybe they're gonna make, cause we've been talking about crews for a while, man. Like being able to make your own crew, then have like a record. They had that in 19, but they took it out. Uh, it was kind of cool, but they, they did it wrong. Everything they add, they do wrong, bro. Just like in next gen with the, uh, the bronze to hall of fame system that shit was not about shit bro it, it really wasn't but um then it says prime with breathtaking views arenas and courts for you to call next so maybe the city somewhat different um now we have new arenas maybe i don't know maybe some different crew arenas i don't know okay man so it is it's, it's it's time to talk about this community my nigga this is a very important segment that I'm about to speak about, man. It has to be said, bro. I fuck with you, Badge. But it, 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 it's it gotta be said, bro. But th this is mainly just the whole community that kind of defends 2K, you know? Badge is critical at times, but you know, he still wants a logo. He wants the next makers. He want to probably become a dev. All different types of shit. Like, he really trying to, like, work for 2K. So, you know. But, anywho, man. He tweeted out, bro. This sounds wild for me. 2K's biggest critic. Positive and negative window. But the same park and city, if true, isn't make or break to me. It isn't make or break to me either, but it's fucking lame. But this, the reason this whole tweet's being made is because he's caping for 2K. I don't like this type of stuff um, when creators do this because this is why they can get away with keep doing the same shit because they have a whole team of creators that are fighting other creators and dissing and bashing them and all this toxic weird shit. Nigga, we just, we all want a good popping game. The only way anything's gonna change is if it's pure heat, honesty, genuine, toxic shit. That's the only way it's ever gonna change. But niggas, niggas, niggas be thinking that 
YouTubers are manipulating all these random people about their honest opinions, bro. Everyone's been feeling about this. Everyone's been feeling like this since the first 2K. This is not new shit. You niggas are so stupid, bro. <laughs> but anywho, man, he said 2K17 was basically the same parks as 2K16 and so was 20. And this was a major issue. I was there. Badge, you probably weren't there. I was there. I was really immersed in the community. 17 had worse graphics than 16. It was doled out when compared to 16. Most people might not have saw that because in 17, people started getting Elgato's and um, higher quality Elgato's. So it might sometimes look a little better than 16 when it was not nowhere close to the same level. 16 was one of the most beautiful 2Ks. The same with 15, bro. Like, beautiful, nigga. Like, the colors, the, the popping. It was, it was incredible, nigga. The courts. But, nigga, everyone hated that shit. How it was the same parks. We did not like. That shit is dumb, bro. Okay? There's no reason to tweak this shit out. Um... We should just call it lame. I'm not saying go all stupid, toxic, but call it lame as a community come together. And, you know, when 19 was out and then 20 came, it's the same part. These niggas is lazy, bro. It's a billion dollar company. I don't give a fuck what you niggas are talking about, bro. It's a billion dollar company. The only way they're going to change shit is if y'all niggas get toxic. It's the only way. I'm sorry. That little cute little talk shit. No, no, no. It don't work. I promise you. Everyone's already said everything to them. Ain't no new nigga gonna tell them some new idea. They've heard everything, bro. They only react to when shit gets overwhelmingly toxic together, bro. But um, I commented on this and said, yeah, man, let's have the same Call of Duty maps only year to year and then i said not a deal breaker but still lame as fuck okay i know they bring back old call of duty maps that's cool that's dope but they still have new maps even though call of duty drops the ball in and all, all that type of shit bro they still make new maps bro i don't care if you need a bunch of different dev teams to be able to to do this type of stuff but making the same environment is fucking lame bro like, it's like niggas, niggas is going brain dumb. Nigga, we've been playing this 2K shit for years. We just going to keep playing on the same environments, bro? We serious? No, there's too many basketball environments in this world. And there's too many things you could do with this shit to have the same environment, bro. That shit is lame. It, it, it like, it, it makes me, when it's the same park, it like it fucks up my head bro like it'd be like what the fuck am i doing <laughs> like bro it's not cool bro it's not cool bro it's not cool but gameplay is always most important to me but but you know in response to what he said man i said yeah let's keep the same rewards everywhere every year mascots and the same rep system and the same aesthetics the same clothes let's just keep it the same man it doesn't matter but you you see like you see, like, I had to do, I had to do sarcasm to show them how ignorant that statement is. Stop caping for 2K. We know what you're really doing, you know? Stop. <laughs> Stop that shit. Look at this nigga. You're the reason why stretches aren't good anymore. And you're damn right, bitch. I did that, nigga. If you mad because stretches ain't there anymore, it's because of me, bitch. Yeah, nigga, I'm taking all the credit. I was the leading horse in that bitch. And it's good. Look how less toxic the community is now that sh demigod seven foot stretch bigs aren't running the point anymore and dexing and ruining the game. I saved this shit. But I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure you hate that. I'm sure there's a lot of niggas that hate me for that. Like hundreds of thousands, nigga. I swear to God, bro. It's crazy. But look how less toxic the community is, but because uh, the stretches are gone, this shit used to be OD, nigga. So look, 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 look at this nigga sin. Okay, this is a company, man, you know? Look at this shit, bro. Him and there's other niggas like this. There's people who don't even make money from this game that are like this, bro, okay? 
This nigga says, I never seen so many people gossip and talk down on 2K when they gonna buy it anyway, especially content creators. It's getting lame, bruh. I'm about to start unfollowing cats. Look, nigga, nobody cares if this shit changed your life and all this other bullshit. Nigga, it's a billion dollar company. Niggas love 2K just like you. They gonna criticize it, bro. What's the problem? It's gossiping. What, what, 2K not paying you no substantial amount to fucking, to fucking act like this, nigga. Like, keep it a hundred, bro. People associate with things all the time that they complain about. What are you talking about? In America, we complain about America all the time. Still live here. We got enough money to leave this bitch. Most people, they have enough money to leave this bitch. We complain about the president. We complain about the police. We complain about our apartments, our houses, traffic, our job, <laughs> our bitch, school, college, our sports team, basketball, the NBA, other video games, working out, eating, women, etc., bro. Like, what the fuck be wrong with you niggas, man? Like, you niggas don't have a brain? How can y'all be such hypocrites, bro? You Y'all literally do the... Look, look, let, let, let's read it. Let's read it. Look, a tweet just before this, this nigga literally just shows his hypocrisy. And a lot of you niggas do this same shit. It's funny how y'all talk down so much on 2K, but still play, Right? Then when your favorite streamer tries to play something else outside of 2K, y'all tell him to get on 2K. Make it make sense. So you're still going to stream, correct? Right? So why are you complaining about this if you're still going to stream? What's the point? Losing viewers and money. Enjoying my time on Fortnite. Greater than forcing myself to play 2K in July for viewers and money. I love 2K and what it's done for my career. But right now, I just don't be feeling it like that. Appreciate everybody that support me regardless of what I play. Why are you complaining about this when you're still going to stream? What's the point? Sin does a lot of complaining on his whole timeline about a lot of things that he's still going to associate with. It's why me and him even got issues anyway. I had to block this nigga. This nigga kept replying to me about criticizing the fucking game. Roasting stretch bigs and shit. This nigga trying to tell me I don't have defense and I have like a fucking 95 win percent and been beating stage niggas since the beginning of time. Nigga, I'm the first stage player to ever exist. I'm the first ISO nigga to ever exist, nigga. Like... How are you telling me about anything, nigga? I'm talking about a balance of a fucking video game and niggas is on my dick. Hating on me. But anywho, man, Nick, niggas know I'm right, bro. Anytime a nigga be caping for 2K, once they finally leave the community or they blow the fuck up or 2K does them wrong in some way, they then tell the truth. The same truth I've always said. Look at Annoying. That nigga used to dick suck and double twist and triple gawk the fucking game more than anyone. Nigga blew the fuck up, out the community, doesn't need 2K no more. They took his logo away for being honest one chan one time in his fucking career, nigga. And what happened? He started roasting that fucking game, telling the truth, nigga. Y'all, I don't know if y'all know who Trey and Jay was. They used to cape for the game, OD. You know, bootlicking shit. But then guess what? They said, fuck this community. We gonna go play COD. Then they roasted the fuck out the whole community, told the truth about the developers and the game. Oh my God. Look at DF. DF used to cape for this game so much. Now their logos are gone and there's a whole issue with them and the logo devs and all that. Now they're flaming these niggas, telling the truth. Come on, man. Keeping a hundred, dog. Y'all can't claim to be real or all this other shit and, and like be caping for a fucking logo and the next maker program, bro. Or to get flown out by 2K. Like, come on, bro. If you just a businessman, 
okay then i get it you don't but but don't be attacking other creators when the shit not even genuine dog so according to 2K Intel, bro, GameStop has an exclusive $200 bundle, but they can't give out any information yet on what it contains for some reason. Y'all let me know what y'all think <laughs> is worth $200 that 2K could drop and what y'all think it is, man. First one to guess it, man, I'm gonna give $100. And also in August, bro, um, this is when we're gonna get more news, man. Gameplay trailer, Jordan Challenge, my NBA, my team, my career in the city Y'all let me know if y'all excited for august man but that's all i gotta say man make sure y'all subscribe if you're new and hit that goddamn like button but hey hey here we go again yeah. here we go again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything i'm at made me now break it down yo off the top of the dome dome